Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome to a, a different guide. Alright, so this is going to be something that I've been wanting to do for a while. So, a lot of players sometimes come to the stream watching me while streaming on twitch.tv slash guitarrock69. You guys know I stream there very often. Here's the thing. Whenever I stream, a lot of people ask me, what game is this? I'm going to say, oh, this is Brown Dust 2, right? And you get that a lot. However, the first thing that I get asked a lot, uh, usually the first two questions that I get asked a lot is either what's the gacha rates, number one. Number two is going to be how long is the dailies? Now, how long is the dailies in Brown Dust 2? So in this video, hopefully we can find it out together. All right, so this is going to be something that I'm going to do it throughout right here in this particular video. I'm not going to edit anything so you guys can see how long it actually takes to complete dailies in brown dust 2 so let's go let's jump right into it the first thing that you want to do is you want to do all of these claim all the glatis claim all the cats so these are the dispatch missions all right we get this we get that cook rice you gotta move it around a little bit by the way i'm playing on pc client brown dust 2 pc client so uh if you're on a mobile phone uh, i'm not sure if this is a bug exclusive but you gotta move your characters a little bit before you can claim them so that one gives me twenty thousand gold uh, let's see, this one is going to give me uh, 15,000 gold. So after that, you just got to send them again. So this is going to be very important. So this is for both Allstein, all right? So you get to send Ratshu, Katshu, Matshu, all three cats, right? Very, very simple process. Very easy and very straightforward. And then you are doing the same for, uh, what's the other girl? Diana. So make sure you guys are doing this as well. So for hers, you can see she is able to send this glatti that can give you gems all right so far i think i've gotten gems like one time it is a little bit of a uh, it's not guaranteed by the way uh, don't be surprised you mostly will get this item very rarely you will get the second one uh, i think it's like 95 percent five percent chance so yeah uh or else it will be like crazy you get so much premium currency so yeah that's going to be the first thing that we do in our daily quest so now what else do we do right so here are where the dailies are in the mission, right? So you're supposed to do all of these things. But ideally, you shouldn't care about any of this. You want to focus on the pass. So in Brown Dust 2, there's two pass. Gear pass and season pass. Usually, there's two passes. And this is where you need to try to do your things right here, right? So this is where uh, you'll be doing this quest, all right? So we're going to do every single thing right here. Now, uh, this one is something that happens once in a while. And this one is not time-gated because you can see... Uh, you can do this whenever, right? Uh, this is not like something that's restrictive, but gear pass and season pass is something that you have to do every single day. So first thing that you do, what do you do always? You do the daily draw. So right now there's one weapon draw, lacklist weapon, nothing, skip, all right? And then you draw on the character. Free draw every single day. So you gotta log in just for this, just for this, simple. Next up, what do you do? You need to craft a weapon. So you can go here, go to, uh, you know, your character. Uh, for me, I'm using her. So I'm going to craft a ring. This is what I usually do, right? So craft a ring. Easy. Get the mercenary ring one. And then you need to craft a gear. Also, you need to go to your inventory. Right now, um, I think my face cam is blocking it. But you can click the inventory right here. All right. So go to the set section of gears. This is where we're going to throw that gear that we just crafted away. All right, throw it away, dismantle it. So this is part of the battle pass uh, requirements. You got to dismantle some of the gears. You also need to enhance some of the gears. So this one you can do it to any gears, right? You can just uh, upgrade one time. So we just upgrade it one time, boom. Oh, there are upgrade success, plus four. And then you need to refine a gear. So refine is once you have them fully upgraded, you can sort of like refine them. So again, you can do this as many times. Uh, you just need to do it one time, right? Just press the skip. Boom. So we are done with all this gear stuff, right? This gear stuff, very easy. So now we go here, check the pass. You can see. So we have done quite a number of it already. Boom. All right, boom, there. And then come here. Okay, this one, we still have a lot we need to do, right? So let's look at this. Defeat enemies, collect finds, capture twin glutty. Now this one is going to be pretty pretty fast as well so you need to go to any story chapter all right right now i'm in the pvp section i usually go to chapter 7 all right so why chapter 7 let me show you guys so the reason why i go to chapter 7 i need to be very hard as well i'm still a little bit slacking in there 
The reason why I come to the chapter 7 very often is because when I do this, alright, I'm gonna use a uh, lethal skill. Sometimes you can get that gold ore. So it's a good place to farm gold ore. I'm gonna fight one enemy because that's also the requirement. Uh, I have this particular character um, set up just for this particular place. So remember, we need to capture Glutty. We need to uh, cap find three glittering finds, which is the blue and green things on the uh, on the floor, right? In any of these maps. If you're not at chapter 7, chapter 1 would have it as well, chapter 2 would have it as well. Alright, so capture one of these. Uh, come here, why do you make things so difficult? Okay, we're gonna hide. We're gonna hide, we're gonna use... Um, I need to... I don't know why they make it so difficult. You can't catch them because uh, that's something that frustrates me. Uh, they need to fix this, man. They need to fix this... Uh, wait, what? My back zone... Oh, I know what's happening. This one. So you can... <laughs> I need to expand this. I need to expand this. Fine, let's do that. Okay. No longer red, are you? So give me the glutty. Come on. So this is taking longer than expected. It's kind of an unfair uh, disadvantage already. Because I spent so much time doing that. Okay, but regardless, so that is uh, part of the quest done, right? So I already collect finds. Boom. We get this one. And then this one, I need to uh, collect finds. I need to collect one more. Okay, so let's see if I can do one more. So collecting these finds shouldn't be too difficult. Alright, come here. Collect one more. So go out to the home page. We're gonna claim this. Okay, so now we need to do this. Battle in one Mirror Wars. Mirror Wars is this particular thing, right? So this is the PvP of this game. Fortunately, this one is very easy, very straightforward. Alright, so all you need to do, just come here. Alright, you just need to do one PvP. Alright, even if you don't enjoy PvP, all you need to do is just one. Just press that. And then you, after the first round, you have the ability to skip. Alright, you see this button right here? So we just wait for that. After turn one, we will be able to skip, alright? Once that thing is not grayed out, right now we can press that. There. Okay. So I was able to win my battle. So that's it. I think that that's pretty much it. Uh, we are done with the... The daily is pretty much. Come here and check. So again. So battle in the hunting grounds. That's the last one we need to do. Okay, so let's talk about the battle in the hunting ground. Fortunately, this one is very easy as well. So how do you do this? Uh, somebody taught me this as well. Apparently, you just come here and claim on this one, right? So I always send one expedition a day before in the Lizardman Altar. So when I receive this, you are usually going to get this discounts towards the battle in the hunting ground quest. So if you want to, you can always send, uh, you know, some, some of the additional ones there. But usually I'll just be farming slimes or whatever, right? The rest, I'll just send it there. But it depends on what you need, right? So ideally, the Lizard Altar is going to be able to farm the gold ores, which is needed for a lot of end game uh, materials. So with that being said, boom, bam, boom, bam. Hunting Grounds mission, done. Done. So, that's it. I'm done with the dailies. This is how fast the dailies are in Brown Dust 2. So I believe... Uh, we are still about uh, 9 minutes into the video, right? So that's pretty much it. So if you have done all the mission pass quests, now you come here, you claim the dailies. You will be, you will have more than enough to claim your dailies, aka the 60 gems. Alright, just claim all of this. And that one is the extra as well. And then weeklies, uh, pretty straightforward as well. Just gotta do this every single day. So I hope you guys find this informative. This is my mailbox. I have so many things right there. Uh, yeah, hope you guys find this uh, useful because dailies in this game is something that I get asked a lot. Uh, that's something that uh, a lot of players ask me. Yo, how fast does it take to do dailies in this game? I'm thinking of picking this game up. Uh, but I'm concerned that this game's dailies will take very, very long. And as I've shown it to you, the dailies are very, very fast. These two passes are what you need to worry about. All the quests here every single day. So this season pass right here, can you see one more is the premium section? What I like about Brown Dust 2 is also you can buy this as well. You can buy this with premium currency. You can buy this with gems. Uh, most other games, the pass, you need to buy it with money. Look at that. 
so you get so much value and when you buy it it actually upgrades it to plus three so i still have plenty of days uh, to reach all of that right so i'm going to click on obtain all so that's going to give me uh, all the rewards will be sent to my mailbox so that's very very cool um again uh Disclaimer, this does not include events, all right? Sometimes there are certain events, for example, you are doing, uh, right now, there's no events going on. So this is just the dailies on its own, right? So there will be like this boss hunt thing that will come later on after the patch, but pretty much that's it. It's about eight to 10 minutes dailies every single day. You don't need to spend much time uh, doing a lot of things. Obviously, you can also do the use the remaining time to just auto PvP, uh, you know, you can just farm this and drag this all the way here and just let it farm in the background while you do some other things. So this is what I actually enjoy about Brown Dust 2. Very, very fast dailies. Let me know what you guys think. All right, overall, this is how you do it. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions on how to improve or make things faster, let me know in the comment section below. As always, subscribe if you guys haven't already. Give this video a like and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye.